Wary Tales from Mojo, the Twisted Fairy, the Wanderer. It had just gotten dark when the storm started. It wasn't quite rain. It wasn't quite snow, but something in between. William threw another log onto the fire and sat down with a hot cup of tea. Not long after, he heard knocking on his front door. There stood a weary-looking stranger. William invited him in from the cold. He offered the stranger a seat by the fire and a warm drink. It was a bad night to be without a roof over one's head. The thunder rolled and the storm raged. The two men began to chat. Just passing through, William started the small talk. I have some business in town, and then I'll be on my way. The wanderer explained that he'd been to every corner of the world. William had never been anywhere. He'd lived in the family home his whole life. He had thought of leaving in his younger years. William had always wanted to go to sea. Tales of ships and mysterious creatures and undiscovered treasures had always intrigued him. But he'd never had the courage to actually leave the safety of his home town. I don't stay in one place very long, the traveler explained. I've seen things you wouldn't believe. People in their best moments and their worst. I've seen hope, heartbreak, struggle, and fear. Acts of amazing bravery and acts of cowardice. Maybe one day, William told the stranger, it's just never been the right time. The storm started to ease a bit, and William offered the man some food. He was enjoying the company. The wanderer declined. He'd be on his way soon. Doesn't it get lonely out there? He asked the weary stranger. But when you've been alone your entire life, solitude becomes your best friend. Was his reply. Maybe you can stay here in town for a while, William suggested. There's something nice about a simple life in a quiet town with familiar people around. William had a rather... Routine life. He got up each morning and walked down to the bakery. The woman who worked there was friendly and kind. She made a special bread just for him. Though he'd never been married, he'd always liked the idea of having a partner and settling down. He liked the thought of raising chickens 
and maybe planting a garden. William and the baker had really nice conversations. He found her sweet and funny, and he liked her food. There were times when he thought about asking her to take a walk with him by the lake, but he never found the courage. He thought she probably didn't like him anyway. Maybe one day, he told the stranger. The wanderer noticed a guitar in the corner. Do you play? He asked. A little. Came William's reply. When he was a boy, he loved to listen to the musicians that played in town. He'd walk by and hear their songs and long to join them. They made everyone in the town happy with their music. William wanted to do the same. As he grew up, it remained something he wanted to learn to do. His parents gave him the guitar as a gift one Christmas. Over time, his dreams faded to black and white, and he never learned to play properly. He'd picked it up once or twice, but without formal lessons, he really couldn't make music and gave up. Maybe one day, he told the stranger. The thunder had grown quiet, and the rain had stopped. William looked out the window. I guess you'll be moving on now. He said, It is indeed about time for me to be on my way. The wanderer rose to his feet and started toward the door. On the front porch, he turned to William and held out his hand. Come with me, he said. Oh no, I couldn't, replied William. I would love to see the world. But I'm just not ready yet. Oh, I'm sorry. Came the stranger's reply. I don't think I properly introduced myself. I've been called many things. Anku, Thanatos, La Muerte. But I prefer the simple name. I am Death, and I am here... For you. The end. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Check out all the links in the description. Um, like, subscribe, share, all of those things. And as always, uh, thank you to my wonderful and supportive friends. Carl, Josh, Greg, Anthony, Cameron, Matthew, Nolan, Callum, Sebastian, of course, my bunny. And then, of course, a special shout out to Gray for helping me with the, the dialogue in this one. Uh, I love all you guys. Thank you.